Because we've seen everything from braided to squiggle brows. <laughs> Pretty impressive. But trends aside, could you be guilty of a brow crime? From over tweezed to maybe a little under groomed? Today we're going to solve these crimes. Woo! That's right, it's time for an ambush brow crime makeover. We're picking two audience members, and yes, those cops, those brow crime cops are coming after you, audience. Oh! All right, so. All right. These ladies are going to go backstage to meet up with Tanya. Hey, Tanya, I know you're getting prepped, but I want to ask you, what's the biggest mistake people make when they're trying to shape their brows? They don't understand what their natural shape is and they don't fill the brow in first before removing the hair. Dr. Batra is backstage with the brow gal, Tanya <laughs> Crooks. All right, so Dr. Batra, I know you're excited to show us how Tanya has solved these brow crimes. So we have Tanya here with Lucia and Tammy. Now I see she's already done Lucia, so Tanya, maybe you could start with her and show us her before after. Sure. Lucia has a thick, a thicker, fuller brow, coarse hair. Now, the thick brow is in fashion right now, but it's not for everybody. But what we want is a great shape for each person's face <laughs> to really bring out their natural features. So brows fall into one of three categories, <laughs> an arch, <laughs> an arc, or a straighter brow. Not everybody has an arch. How you know is by looking at the brow and lifting up gently. If it, the whole thing lifts up like Lu Lucia's does, that is a straighter brow, and you can see it's a little bit more straight. Mm -hmm. But what we did, we balanced the brows. We had a lot going on and a lot, you know, of, of different sort of shapes happening, so mm -hmm. we evened them out, trimmed them, tweezed them, um, filled them in with uh, the brow gal pencil, and then I used highlighter, okay. a little gel to set. Lucia, would you like to see your before after? I would, I'm so excited. Are you so excited? <laughs> Wow. Oh my That's God. beautiful. <laughs> right? <laughs> Chia, what do you think of your new brows? Um, well, look, oh, you notice that we gosh. broke up the symmetry in the forehead, so now the forehead doesn't look as large, but the yes. eyes look bigger. Yeah, you really made the eyes. Oh my eyes gosh, up. I love it. Brow so crime cool. solved. Super yeah. easy to do. And then, Tanya, I know you're halfway through Tammy yes. here, yes. so I can see the right side has been done. Walk us through what you're doing on the left. Okay, so basically, I did a little pre clean. Um, but I'm lifting here, and you can notice that Tammy's brows fall straight down, almost like pointing down like an arrow. Mm -hmm. That is an arch. Mm -hmm. So we have an arch and a straighter brow on Lucia. So how we fill the brow in, how we understand the shape, we just found out we had an arch by lifting there. Now, if you take the pencil where the nostril meets the nose and goes straight up, this is where we mark. Remember when I spoke earlier about brow GPS? Mm -hmm. We need to know where we're going. Corner of the nose, corner of the eye, and you can go ahead and just mark it right mm -hmm. there. Now all we're doing is connecting the dots on the baseline. So with a very sharp pencil and hair-like strokes, we're just having point A meet point B so on the this bottom. Is, this is what you were talking about at the very beginning about people actually tweezing before they fill in. Here you're actually doing your landmarks, yes. filling in first. Filling in first. <laughs> so now we've outlined the brow and we're gonna go back in in any of the low spots and just fill mm -hmm. with a very sharp pencil and hair-like strokes and, and blend. Now I'm just putting on a little bit of highlighter mm -hmm. and I'm filling in. And what's great about this step too is it lifts everything up, but you also can hide some of those little ones if you don't have a chance to get to them as oh, you're running out the door. Idea. Yeah, if you have some stragglers. <laughs> right. So and, and then a little clear brow gel mm -hmm. to set and hold. Beautiful. And look how easy that was. And so Tammy, would you like to see your yeah. before after? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow! But again, really like and, and this is without you actually trimming or tweezing. Right. This is just doing the right well, color. Well, uh, you know, and I did right a little trim, trimming and tweezing <laughs> before, okay. but not much because her brow crime was overdone brows. So that's why we wanted to balance them out. I am duly impressed and great results. And I'll tell you, I'm looking around. <laughs> <laughs> And I do not see any brow police because there are no longer any brow crimes in this studio. <laughs>